Excel Hash is back for 2019. We almost ended the year without doing it, but we got it in. Me, Layla Garani, Bill Jellin, Minda Tracy, John Akampura. We all have videos that I'm going to link to so that you can check them out. And Mike Gervin, Excel is fun. He wanted to do this, but he wasn't available for us. So hopefully he'll be able to do it next time. The ingredients for Excel Hash 2019. Zor, any dynamic array function, a linked picture, and an icon. All ingredients have to be used in an integrated solution. The ingredients have to be critical to the solution. And anything in Excel is fair game except VBA. So that means a person can use Power Query, Power Pivot, DAX, M code, Pivot Table, and you get to vote. So I'm going to leave you a link so that you can vote to see who came up with the best solutions. Here is my solution snakes and rigs. We have to monitor people who are trying to get licensed to work with exotic snakes. In order to be fully licensed, a person has to do 30 hours with snakes and they have to complete 15 hours worth of work in regulations. So over here, we have a list of what people have completed. Look at Stefan. He's got a mix of snake completions and regulations, 10 hours toward regulations. Now, I took that data into Power Query. All right, let's look at that briefly. There's the source data, and then I pivoted it, and then sorted the rows. Simple. Now, here is where I used Zor, because we have to figure out who has completed their hours in one category or the other, not both. If they've completed the hours in both, then a whole separate team takes care of that. That's where they start processing a license and having a ceremony and everything. But people get $500 when they've completed one category or the other. That's where Zor came in. The formula here is slick. I use Zor to find out if a person has met either the snakes requirements are the regulations requirements not both and that gives a true or false then i use the double unary to turn the trues into one and the falses into zero and then multiply that times the bonus of five hundred dollars let me show you how that's done equals zor open parentheses and let's use Bailey as an example. If this cell is greater than or equal to the snakes requirements, comma, this cell is greater than or equal to the 15, close parentheses. Okay, it's true because one criteria is true and the other one is false. Next, the double unary, double minus sign equals and then multiply that times the bonus go here times the bonus and i'm going to use f4 to lock that down okay that's how we get the 500 dollars zor double unary next i use the dynamic array filter function in order to get down to the people who have earned a bonus and here is where that is so we're filtering this table where the complete column is greater than zero. Now, how did I integrate the icon? Okay, let's go over here to graphics. This is sexy. We are also responsible for the progress of these four people, Hortensia, Mateo, Ocean, and Stefan, not anybody else. Now, these are progress bars that are showing us, say, for example, Hortensia is at 43% of her snake hours and 93% of her regulatory hours. And I thank Fred Le Guin for this. You gotta check out his video on making a progress bar with icons. And I'll quickly show you where the icons are. They are here on the insert tab and then icons. And we got a lot of them. 
and there is the snake. Now let's go over to our people. On the left side, we've got everybody that we're concerned with and they're all stacked up. And then on the right side, we've got the same data, but it's split. Snake hours up top, regulatory hours on the bottom. And these are linked pictures. Let me show you how that's done. Go back to graphics. I'm gonna go here and then slide over right click copy then our people and then right click paste as a linked picture now with this this way i can move it wherever i want to i can resize this i can crop it i can tilt it and it's still a live picture connected to whatever is on the graphics sheet. So let me show you what's cool about this. Go to the graphics page. This hot pink is kind of loud. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting, manage rules. This worksheet, highlight the rule, edit the rule. Let's make it this blue okay okay those changed let's go back to our people that did not change we go to data refresh that's what we get for linked pictures one more thing and then we're gonna get out of here progress and bonuses slide over we're gonna add some more data Remember, Mateo had no hours with snakes. Let's look at that. Right, 17 hours in regulations. And we're adding Tessa for six hours of regulations. Okay, let's go up here. Refresh. Boom, look. There's Mateo, six hours. Tessa is now due a bonus. Go to our people. And look at that. Mateo is 20% complete. Excel hash 2019. There it is. Go check out the other videos and please vote. Hopefully you liked my video. All right. See you next time.